I'm not gonna put anything on there because you see it's day already, so day five wow. The days really go by quickly in this game sometimes. And sometimes they seem to last a lot longer, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. As you see here you get like a decent amount of uh, walls for each uh, craft you do. I'm not sure how many you got, like five maybe? Oh. The only thing with those walls is they are kind of a pain to put down. As you see there I accidentally put it on top of the other piece. You can accidentally try and repair the wall. It's it's all really annoying to be honest. It's not like you can like drag it like in a city building game or anything. You just have to really carefully put them all next to each other one by one. Turning the screen around uh, obviously helps with aligning them. Now, I'm not sure oh, damn, how big I want to make this. Probably not too big. I just want to make sure I include like the chest and my fire and the science engines. And that's pretty much going to be the size. If I go around all that stuff, I should have a big enough uh, little base here to put everything I ever want to make. Everything that I ever want to put inside of it anyways. Because... Stuff like the farms and everything, I'm, I don't need that inside my walls. And... Now these walls, I'm not sure they are that useful, because <laughs> it's a little bit open still, but uh, well, at least we don't have to worry about getting attacked from the top side, at least. Let's make ourselves a golden axe. So we can get some more wood. Now that we actually have that spear, we might want to get ourselves some armor as well. And a good starting armor is actually like the log suit, which is just like a suit made of logs. So we're gonna need some logs here. Let's find ourselves a nice little forest. Get some grass as well while we're here. You can never have enough of this stuff, it feels like. Oh, look at that rabbit. Is he going in? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got another rabbit there. Now the trap is already at 50% duration. But you know what, that's fine. We already got like four rabbits from there or something. So you see, it's, it's really good for food. For keeping yourself alive. I can really uh, recommend going with the rabbit traps at first. Uh, this looks like a good spot to get some wood here. Hmm, that's a weird looking tree. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Doesn't seem like it's uh, attacking me or anything. But it is making a little bit of a weird uh, sound. Totally normal tree. There he goes. A living log. Hmm. I'm not sure why what we need that for, but I think I will uh, save that and not put it on the fire, because uh, the fact that I haven't seen that before probably means that uh, it's not that common. All right, let's get some more wood here. This is actually a really uh, nice forest here. This is gonna help me a lot. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Uh, do I still have any food left? Not really, actually. I do have the two rabbits, but I can't... I'm not gonna eat them raw, I don't think that's very good for you, so... Uh... And we're nearing the end of day 5 already. I'm just gonna put some more uh, wood here. We still have some time before it gets really dark. Let's 
so I'm not too worried. One thing that I'm worried a little bit about is our food actually. We're not about to starve just yet, but uh, I'll just have enough food to get through this day and then for tomorrow I hope I will uh, find some new stuff then. Because I'm about to get a little low on food if I eat these rabbits. And there is no new ones in the traps either, so uh, I'm not sure what we will have uh, for food tomorrow. We will have to try and find some berries or carrots or something. Alright, let's at least get those cooked. Let's store those living logs and put this one on the fire. Log suit. Oh, we need two ropes. Let's see. Oh no. We are one grass short of a rope. Now there is a little bit of uh, time left, I believe. There should be some grass down here, I think. Ah, there it is. Nah, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm just gonna take the one and go back because it's about to go dark and I don't want to die yet. There we go, get the fire going. Maybe add some more fuel. I think two logs should be enough to get through uh, the night. Don't look like the night is gonna be too long. Now there is like different uh, seasons in this game, so uh, I'm not even sure which season it is right now. Might be spring, might be summer. I'm gonna say spring, I believe. But uh, of course in autumn and uh, Winter, the nights are going to be a lot longer, and you're also going to potentially freeze to death in the winter if you don't have a good fire. Alright, we're going to have to eat both of these. Uh, let's plant this. Now, we are playing with uh, Mr. Wilson, I believe. And his special ability is that he grows a beard, so not a very useful ability. Except that you can also like razor the beard and get some beard hair, which is an ingredient for some stuff. And I believe the hair can be quite difficult to get if you don't have the beard, so it's not as useless as it sounds really. And the character also doesn't have any downsides, so... Uh... By the way, he does look a little bit like uh, Mr. Wilson from uh, that movie. What is it called again? Uh, Castaway, I believe. <laughs> Wilson! If you have seen it, you probably know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen it, you probably should see it. It's a pretty fun movie. I think it's with uh, Tom Hanks and... Uh... His best friend, the volleyball, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Alright, day six. Uh, what are we going to do today? I think we're just gonna gather some more. And we might want to check what is through this wormhole. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you don't really lose anything for going through the wormhole. So it is just like a free travel. Uh, we wanna. What is this? I haven't seen this before. Oh, it's just another uh, rock resource. Oh wow, look how far we came. <laughs> Damn. I haven't ever seen this uh, desert actually. What happened? Cactus flesh. Tumbleweed. Yeah, I'll be honest, I have never uh, seen the desert before. So I'm gonna assume that's something they added after I uh, stopped playing. Now I have to say, I haven't played really that much of this game before. I played some, but uh, not too much really. So there is a lot of stuff that I don't know about this game. But there is some stuff that I do know, so I will tell you about that. And the rest of it, we will figure out together. It's 
So if there is something that you guys know that I'm missing, please let me know, because I really don't know everything. I don't even know a lot about this game. I know the basics, so I'm gonna help you guys with that, but uh, I'm hoping you guys that are more experienced with the game can maybe tell me about some of the stuff that I don't know. Okay, so when you find one of these uh, skeletons, this just like where some adventurer died or something, there's always a little bit of loot there, like random uh, stuff. Now these tumbleweeds, uh, seems like they are uh, quite a good resource of sticks and uh, grass actually. And it uh, seems like they also, also uh, have like a random resource with them. Hmm, what is this? Seems like a goat. Now I'm not sure if these produce uh, manure as well. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten that I think. Probably have to cook the cactus meat it seems. So yeah, those goats. I haven't seen those before either. And I think I saw a recipe before when I was looking through it. That requires uh, one of those horns, at least it really looks like it, but uh, I don't want to try and kill them without any armor yet. Oh wait, I do have the log suit, but yeah, I haven't encountered them before and with their horns they don't really look uh, very peaceful to be honest, so... Oof. Also I'm only on uh, half health, so this is not the good moment to try that I think. And maybe I can even tame them eventually, I don't know. If like a pasture and milk them for their goat milks. <laughs> oh, look at this tumbleweeds, all free stuff for me. Oh, seems like I can't carry anymore. Now a trick with this game, if you're playing on a PC, just hold like the, the space bar and it will pick up everything in a radius near you, it will cut down any trees near you. It will basically interact with everything that is near you, so you don't have to click everything all the time. Ah, look at this. Doorway to adventure. Hmm. Okay, so like a survival adventure. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I'm gonna try and survive this world first. I'm not sure what you would like get from uh, doing that. I've never done it, so maybe it will unlock like a new character or something. I honestly don't have a clue. So uh, please feel free to share that with me if you do know. I'm not really a big fan of looking everything up. I'd rather discover it, but if you guys want to share it with me, I'm uh, fine with that as well. Let's pick some more tumbleweeds here. We got uh, gears. And those are can be quite hard to find, so I want to take those with me. That trap only had like 13% left anyway, so screw that. And yeah, I can't carry this. Uh, I might want to camp up here because I'm not going to get back to my base in time, I think. Let's just scout for a good spot. Ooh, what is this? Oh no. Wow, a lot of dogs there. Okay, let's quickly build a fire. Uh, are they coming for me? Doesn't seem like they are. Okay, we are getting very hungry. Let's cook this cactus up. Cacti, I believe. Not, uh... Okay, we don't have to cook the flour. Let's save that for now. Okay, so we got like a bunch of random stuff from those tumbleweeds, but it's all stuff that is a little bit harder to find normally, so that's quite good actually. Ooh, it's only a tumbleweed. <laughs> thought it was one of the hounds. I'm not sure those hounds, I think they come like once a month, maybe on a full moon they attack you, but didn't seem like these were those uh, dogs, maybe, because they weren't chasing me, really. 
Uh, maybe uh, a hat here. Let's see if I can uh, kill those dogs when the day comes back. Almost day seven, so we're doing quite good. Once again, we don't have any food left and we are getting a lot more hungry now. So I'm a little bit worried about our food situation, but probably when we return there will be more rabbits uh, caught in the traps, so that shouldn't be any problem, I hope. Let's see if we can add some more fuel here. I was hoping it would uh, show me the dogs in the dark, but they're a bit too far away, it seems. And it seems like this straw hat is uh, just fading away by, by sitting on my head, so... I don't think it actually does anything unless it's like very hot or raining, so I'm gonna take that off for now. <laughs> 